a homeless, jobless drug addict turns things around and is now worth millions of dollars. How did he do it? A real life rags to riches story when we come back. In the back of the book segment tonight, Jerry Shamalas' incredible rags to riches story. 24 years ago, he had no home, no job, he was addicted to drugs and alcohol. Today, he lives in a mansion in Brentwood, California, and runs Rhinotech Computer Products Company. But he hasn't forgotten where he came from. One third of the 250 people who worked for him were recruited from the welfare rolls, the homeless shelters, and the recovery centers. Jerry joins us now from Los Angeles. You don't look like you could have been homeless, Jerry. What was your story then? Well, don't judge a book by its uh, cover. I, uh, 24 years ago, that's absolutely correct. I was uh, homeless and unemployable at the bottom of the food chain. And uh, I was desperate enough to seek help. And I would like to communicate to your audience out there that there is help. Uh, it, it had to come in the form of me asking for help. And it's amazing when you ask for help, the, the universe seems to to show up with a helping hand. And so uh, in that situation, uh, John, of desperation, I hit a rock bottom and made a decision uh, with the help of a lot of people to change my life. And that was the first step, which was to make that decision. You know, and, Jerry, I, I got to ask you, look, we, yeah. we all know what it's like to worry about the next paycheck. And if we get really in bad shape, are we going to be able to feed ourselves? Are we going to pay the rent? Can we get clothes and so forth? When you're in that situation, how can you say, you know, what I got to do is run a big computer company. That's what I need to read. I just got to go for the gold and, and be a computer zillionaire. Right. How does that work again? Well, at, at the genesis first was to make the change and to realize that I needed to make a change and to seek help. And in business and in life, John, I believe that it's not a sprint it's a marathon so one day at a time I began to uh, rebuild my life and to make a decision to have definiteness of purpose okay, that but I, was I want tired some specifics Jerry when sure. you, what did you do first that okay. led to where you are now what, what was the very first step the very first step is I went to a social service agency called Casa de Hamandad on the west side of Los Angeles uh, did a job, uh, they actually took homeless people and showed them how to fill out a resume. Uh, I, I then went out and got a job. Uh, the first job that I, and I was living on people's couches, the first job I got, I had such a bad attitude that I got fired from the job, uh, which was devastating. But I knew that if I drank and used that I would spin out even further, so I was, my focus was to not drink alcohol and take drugs. No, Jerry, I, just, I, I gotta ask you, what'd you look yeah. like? You, I mean, you're a very clean-cut business executive, and I'm sort of picturing a guy with hair <laughs> down to his, the back of, in the middle of his yeah. back, and a beard, and all, not, not a charming smile like that. What, what, right. were you a mess? I was a total mess. I was twisted like a pretzel. I had hair down to my shoulders. I had a beard. I was uh, uh, scruffy and uh, really, really at the bottom of the food chain. Okay, now and what was the first thing, you told me about the first thing that didn't work. Yeah. What was the first right. thing that did work? What was the very first thing you said, oh, I can make something happen now that became the first building block to a better life? Well, I got involved. I think it's very important uh, when you realize that you've got to change, you need to get tools on how to change. So I involved myself, I think, Mentoring is a very important thing in this life, and, and, and I never really had a mentor, and, and I sought out and found mentors, and these people taught me how to live and how to begin the process of changing. And the first uh, building block, John, was to not drink or use alcohol and to get off the sauce and get off the drugs. And then there becomes a, 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 a focus on... Uh, rebuilding the mental attitude. Another thing is I had a terribly negative and cynical attitude and I had to go through a process of really cleansing my attitude and shifting. It's not so much what happens in life as what, how we perceive. My friend Milt Dyka says that. It's what, how we perceive what happens to us. So I had to really begin a process of rebuilding my mental attitude and rebuilding from the ground up. Jerry Shamalas uh, did it, somehow became a millionaire. Jerry, thanks very much. That is it for today. Good. Jerry, more luck to you.
That's it for us today. Thanks a lot. See you on the next O'Reilly Factor.